What's going on guys? So today we're going to be talking about the Sync 3 update that's supposed to bring Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto to the 2016 model year Mustangs. Now if you have a 2015 model year Mustang, yours came with my Ford Touch and is never going to be able to use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay so you're out of luck. If you got a 2017 model year Mustang, then yours should have the option uh, to have the Sync 3 with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto by default. Now, those of us with the 2016 model year, we were told that there was gonna be an update coming last summer that would allow us to upgrade and have Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto. So I was monitoring this pretty steadily throughout the summer because as some of you know, my car does not include navigation. So I wanted to use either Android Auto or more preferably Apple CarPlay so that I could have navigation features. Um, so at some point during the summer, they did update their site and it showed that both of these upgrades would require a hardware upgrade, but they didn't really say what it was or how much it would cost. So essentially what that meant is when they released the upgrade, you would have to purchase something from Ford, take it to the dealership or something and, you know, have them install it just to be able to use this feature, which isn't what they said at the beginning. So, you know, I was like, whatever, I was just sitting around waiting. Um, I, I saw it on a few different forums because it doesn't just affect the Mustang. I think it's the edge and maybe the focus of a few other models out there that are also affected with people waiting on it. And then all of a sudden I started checking the site again and I didn't see any mention of the hardware upgrade anymore. Uh, they also removed from what I can tell anyway, I, I can no longer find any, any uh, mention of a release date for it. Uh, obviously summer's now passed. So I'm not really sure what's going on with this update. It got delayed somehow. Um, Ford's not really saying anything much about it. So we're just kind of playing a waiting game at this point. Uh, I, I did hear from one source that it's going to be around December, but you know, that's not confirmed. So I'm not really sure if that's going to happen or not. So my car is currently in the shop right now and the rental car that they gave me was a Chevy Malibu, which happened to come equipped with Apple CarPlay. And since I've never been able to use Apple CarPlay in person, I went ahead and captured some footage. So let's go in and take a look at that. All right, so I have my iPhone 7 sitting here on the Skosh Magic Mount and we're gonna go ahead and plug in the lightning adapter here. And that should go ahead and initiate Apple CarPlay once that's connected. And you can see it went straight to Maps, uh, which I already had open. Apple CarPlay shows up there on the iPhone. Um, this button here acts as your home button, so you can just tap that and it'll bring up the main display. So if I wanna look at what's currently playing, you can do that. You can go back, hit the home button. Um, I can access my phone right here. You have some voicemail messages. I can play those or make a call for you and I don't want to do that, so cancel. Okay. And there we have just my uh, my contacts. And so we're back at the home screen here and I can go to music, which is the same thing pretty much as now playing, but when you go to music, one thing you can go back and then from here you can see just like on your, on your phone, um, you have your playlist up here. You have Apple Radio. Um, if you have, if you if you're subscribed to that, which I'm currently not, um, <clears throat> your library. So you can go through and scroll. Obviously, playlists, artists, uh, albums, songs, all, all the normal stuff. So it enter. It, it, it's pretty much just an extension of your phone. Everything looks just like your phone. Messages. Should, should I send your message? Cancel. Okay. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Siri is so accommodating. Um, <laughs> all, right. all right, so messages, you know, if you have a voicemail message, it'll, or not voicemail, if you have a text message, it'll actually uh, read it to you, or you can dictate a message. Um, and Pandora, Spotify, there are a few apps, um, third-party apps that work, with Apple CarPlay. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like Waze is one of them. And Waze is something that I use uh, pretty frequently. So it's a little disappointing. Um, Google Maps also doesn't display up here. Uh, you're stuck kind of with, with Apple's version of Maps, which, you know, it, it's not as good in my opinion, but it's better than nothing if you don't have navigation, obviously. Um, 
Now, let's try something here, because this is something I actually haven't attempted yet to see if I can run ways and maps at the same time. So if I put ways up on my phone, that's running on my phone. Now, let me see if I go to maps. No. So what happens is it switches over to maps once you do that. So maps needs to be open on your phone, unfortunately. So that's a little, like I said, a little bit disappointing. Um, but hopefully they they allow ways to be used at some point because that that's what I would prefer. I'm not sure if Android Auto allows you to use ways or not. Um, I'll have to check. I'm not really sure because th this is a rental car, as I mentioned. So I'm not sure if Android Auto is compatible. I do have a Samsung Galaxy phone, um, but I don't currently have it with me. So I'll have to check on that and see if it's compatible. If it is, then I'll try to get some video footage of that. But that's pretty much the overview of Apple CarPlay. I mean, it's it, it's nice to have. It's nothing groundbreaking, obviously. But my car, since it doesn't have navigation, that was the main feature that I'm that I'm looking forward to. Um, and I've told the story before about how you know when I purchased my car, I didn't realize that it didn't have navigation. I saw the screen and assumed that it had nav when it didn't. So I've been looking forward to Apple CarPlay for a while or Android Auto at this point. I'll take either one. So forward, hurry up, and uh, let's get it done. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think about Ford's delay, uh, why they would keep delaying it. Do you think it's a hardware issue, a software issue? Do you think that they're delaying it to increase sales of the 2017s? Not really sure what's going on there, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thank you for your support. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.